All right. Hello and welcome everybody to the Hobby CNC with Dave show. It is, let's see. Yeah, that's our first show of the uh, New Year. No. Let's see. Well, it was New Year's Eve last week, but yeah. So uh, welcome everybody. Today is the day we're going to do the, uh, you know, settle up on the uh, Gat and CNC Christmas challenge. We had a bunch of cool entries this time. Uh, but let me get, before I get too carried away, I got a bunch of folks back here backstage. Let me, let me bring some folks in here. We got Paul Wolfman's back with us. Sean's with us. Special guest today is Al Forte. And also Mr. Hamilton Dilbeck is in the house. Appreciate the uh, Instagram post there, Hamilton. Just saw that my phone. I got my phone set right here, and it just buzzed when uh, when that popped up. So appreciate that. Uh, let uh, let me go over a few things. First of all, one of the most important things we have to talk about tonight is our sponsor for our live giveaway, which is Cody from uh, Cadence Manufacturing and Design. And he said for tonight, you know, he always gives me my, my instructions here. We are going to do a live drawing on this beautiful thing uh, right here. Nice. 60 degree down to your V-bit. So, as you might can guess, that means the hashtag it's going to be hashtag groovy. So hashtag that is totally groovy, groovy, man. What you need to put in, <laughs> and we'll be doing that here in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, man, we got so much to cover tonight. I, I made myself a list because I know I'm going to forget something. But uh, so big thanks to Cody. He sponsors that uh, live giveaway drawing we do every single week. Uh, gives away one of those fantastic genie bits of some kind like i said it's going to be a 60 degree p bit tonight but also i want to uh give a super big shout out to the sponsors of the gat cnc christmas challenge and those are in case you've forgotten mr jerry brown of yeah, holly wants a chapter he stepped up and said he would do a $100 Amazon gift card. So thank you, Jerry, for sponsoring that. D Hammer, also known as Paul Hammerquist, he said he would do a $200 Amazon gift card. So thank you, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate being a sponsor. And my old friend, Mr. J.R. from Trade Skillers Anonymous mm -hmm. is going to do a three-pack of Jenny. I really don't know what what bits it is, but he said a three-pack of Jenny bits. So that's what I've been saying, and that's what I have on the website. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a super cool prize right there. Thank you, J.R., for sponsoring that. And then we have Bob Wood of Bob CNC fame. He's been on the show probably two or three times due to have him on again uh, pretty soon, I would think. Uh, but he said he would donate a quantum CNC kit. So I don't know which size. I think the I think there's like three different sizes of those things, I believe. But uh but yeah, he's going to donate the Quantum CNC kit, which is one of their new ones that's been out just, I don't know, a couple of months or so. Yeah. Uh, and then I am going to donate a Enjoywood 10 watt diode laser. Uh, and I did a live unboxing assembly and first cuts and engraves. I mean, it's probably been about three months ago now, but uh, that is what I'm going to throw in the pot. So 
Uh, like I said, I want to thank uh, Jerry, Paul, JR, and Bob for doing some awesome prizes there. Um, okay, before we get started here, let me go ahead. I think I've got this ready to go. This is, uh, yeah, this is, uh, again, what our, what our sponsors look like. And again, we had 22 entries by a total of 17 different people. There were some people that did a couple of entries. There was, I think, even one person that did three entries. Um, but we had a, a total of 22 video entries for that. Uh, and I guess, let me check my list to make sure. Well, let me kind of, let me kind of explain how we're going to do this. And then we're going to go through and look at each, um, each video here. And again, I asked, not everybody did it. <laughs> no no surprise. I, there's usually some that don't do it, no matter how many times I mention it. But, uh, I have still shots, and if for the folks who didn't send me a still shot, I tried to get the absolute best screenshot I can while watching a video and trying to do, you know, alt print screen and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I did the best I could. So if if I don't have a good picture of your project, it's probably because you didn't send me one. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was part of your job as well. But anyway... Uh, we're going to go through and take a look at all of the entries. I've got a nifty little slide thing uh, set up here. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, yeah, we'll go. We'll go look at them first, and then we'll then we'll go through and explain how we're going to break it down with the prizes. This is the first video I received. It is from Brooks Martin. This is his. Notice it says first entry. He put in more than one entry, so this is his first one. Um, and I, I, I have to be perfectly frank here. A lot of the times when you sent me these videos, I watch them right away as soon as you send me the link before I add it to a playlist to make sure everything's cool and there's no copyright stuff or, you know, all that kind of stuff I'm looking for. And then once it's okay, I add it to the playlist. But then when I get ready to, uh, you know, do the judging of them. I have to go back and watch them all two or three times because I really can't remember. Uh, and especially if you in your video, if you do not narrate the video or put captions up or something, but maybe you put it in an email. I don't remember that stuff. I'm too forgetful. So, Brooks, <laughs> if you're out there in the chat and you would like to add anything. To this like say I, if i remember correctly maybe you other guys can help me wasn't this part resin uh yeah. the lower part mm -hmm. yeah. i think yes. yeah yeah all, all of the color is okay so all of the the black lettering and the the camels and stuff that was all resin yeah i believe so yeah i, I agree okay like I said, this, and again, this, since this was the first video I was sent, these are all, you're going to be looking at these in the same order that I received them. That's how they were put into the playlist. That's how I've got them listed on everything. It's the same order that, that I got them in here. All right, so that's Brooks Martin's first entry. Uh, and again, I'm not even sure if he mentioned what type of wood that was or anything but i think it, i'm pretty sure it was a resin project yeah. with a pocket fill all right so let's uh the second entry that i received is earl walker's first entry he was uh i believe he was one that put in let me double check yeah he put in three different three, videos yeah. for entries so that one anybody, really anybody that wants to comment on these just jump right in here because i'm yeah th this one really surprised me like the thumbnail doesn't make you realize the scale yeah like i right. i thought it was originally like this big right like it right. doesn't really it didn't the, the picture didn't translate and then you see it on his cnc and i mean it's like 
Yeah. It's, those trees are two feet tall. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty sizable. I thought that one turned out really well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I love, I love the multi-layer effect that he's got. And it just gives it just a whole different perspective and the lighting up underneath it just kind of raises it up to the top that that kind of makes it pop yeah i think i think earl's out there uh yeah i see earl earl was that the pvc is that what you cut that out of that's what it kind of looked like when you were cutting it no or troy's asking if it was made of foam uh, yeah troy yeah. says is number two made out of foam I think, you know, like I said, Earl did yeah. three different projects. So I I think that's what this stuff is. But maybe he will. Uh, like an onion. <laughs> maybe he will uh, let us know in the chat there. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm looking. I don't see him commenting on that just yet. But anyway, we'll, we'll move on to the next one. Because like I said, we got a bunch to cover tonight. Uh, this next one was the third entry that I received. It is from Dennis Nolan. His YouTube channel is Dennis Nolan Ozark Arts and Crafts. And it is a advent calendar. I can't, my, because I've got it on this screen the way I do, I can't point with my pointer, but the little star on the where he's got it on the 24th, it fits in that notch. So you start out on the left-hand side and move it across as you're counting off the days to Christmas. And Al, I believe you told me that you counted how many holes he drilled well, in that thing. He mentioned, he mentioned, no, I didn't count them. Uh, oh, I, I thought I found, you counted them. Okay. No, I found it really impressive because he said he, he did 240 window cuts. Yeah. And, okay. and and I yeah. really enjoy counting down to the days till Christmas, and I, I really love that one. That one's that one's really cool. And those okay. those little windows, teeny tiny windows, nice detail. Yeah, with a with a one sixteenth inch bit, I think you yep. said. I, yeah. I would have gone through two hundred and forty bits trying to do that. <laughs> okay. All right, I keep looking for uh, to see if Earl uh, mentioned. He says that, that one, one is, is 48 by 32. Yeah. Now that was the this one here we're talking about. He says that one is 48 by 32. I made different sizes. Okay. All right. Let's uh, move on. This is Brooks Martin's second entry. And again, this was a long time ago. So somebody help me out. <laughs> <laughs> if you know exactly, because uh, I don't know if he meant, did any narration in the video or. Yeah, he smashed up a bunch of beans. Yeah. Well, that I was remember, a lot of work. It's, it's like rock stuff, isn't it? Yeah, or it is. Like that. Yeah. So. And then okay. mix it into the resin. Okay. Yeah. I'm surprised he had bits that would hold up to cutting that stone. Right. I wonder yeah, what that I remember. Was if I remember right, he was asking about cutting stone uh, using the CNC. Yeah, Quite it seems like he time. was one night, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we know why. Oh, we know. Okay. Uh, Earl, uh, Earl answered us here real quick. It's uh, it's the PVC sheets from Home Depot. Okay. Okay. That's what I thought it was, but uh, um, yeah, well, that, that's what it looked like. But it was. Hey, that should be easy to cut, right? Be a lot easier on the bits yeah, compared yeah. to the stone. <laughs> this yeah. is really cool, though. I've never ever seen anybody crush their own stones like that and pour it, and you know, mix it in with epoxy and pour it. Amazing. Yeah, that's definitely a first because mm -hmm. I haven't mm -hmm. seen anybody do that. All right, let's see. We're on slide. He's, Number, yeah. We're showing four of them so far. Brook says, "Yeah, the the bit held up well, but can't use them on wood <laughs> anymore." Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is, uh, I guess, the fifth. Matt Haas. Yeah, fifth um, one yeah. that I awesome received. 
Matt Haas of Awesome Wood Things. Uh, Matt had an interesting way to do this. Like mm -hmm. he used vinyl for the colors, and I was like, "Wow, that's a pretty cool thought process on that." Yeah. To, like, you know, you know, everybody else is using paint, and he used the the vinyl, and it it turned out really well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, you can't tell it from this one picture because I just put one picture of everything. I tried to pick the best overall picture. But this all has a little mechanical wheel uh, behind it as well. Uh, where, and right there where the number 10 is on that ornament, that changes numbers because he has, I guess, 1 through 24 or 25 or something like There's that. There's a wheel so, in there back there. Yeah, so... Uh, you know, if you see the video, you, you you get you totally get it. It's an advent calendar. It is always creative. Yeah, yeah. All righty, moving on. This is Earl Walker's second entry, and I guess we're going to say that this is the same material uh, as the. Uh, the Santa Claus flying over the village thing. So he's got a couple of angels right here. Yeah. And uh, those you don't really realize the scale of it until he shows them in the window. Yeah. And again, I didn't uh, didn't put but just one picture in here. So, but he does show them in his window of his home. And then here is Earl's third entry. Uh, it's got a believe um, thing here. And there's also shots of this in the window, I think, in this video. Yeah, those all cut with Jenny. Okay. I'm understanding. And, and, I, and I guess this is all the same <coughs> material, the, that uh, PVC stuff, I'm guessing. That's what, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. See, see it. My mind must be playing tricks on me because it looks like MDF and then it looks like plastic and then it goes back to MDF. Yeah, if you stare at it for a minute, yeah. look at, you start seeing MDF. But yeah, uh, but I think it's uh, I think it's the lighting in the picture. I think it's some more of that PVC stuff. Yeah, and if you haven't had a chance chance to cut with PVC, treat yourself. Give it a whirl. It's pretty oh awesome boy. stuff to cut. Yeah. Oh boy, I love okay. this piece. This one was very interesting. This is from Kenneth. Uh, and again, it says first entry. He put in two entries. But this was a, um, I guess, a laser cut. Uh, well, first he took deer. a picture of a deer. Reindeer. Yep. And yeah, did some tracing and stuff. And yeah. uh, well, created the files. Right. And, and he shows that in his video. And then he makes it where it fits together, and and he painted and painted the ornaments and stuff. It was really, uh, really a lot of thought uh, put into that one. I think. I agree. So that was, uh, and I, and I again, I only put one picture for each thing, and I tried to pick the best one. And I don't know if that's it or not, but there's pictures from other angles and stuff like that. But if you watch the video, which Very you should impressive. be, you should be watching all of them. That's very uh, very cool project. Yeah, and it reminded me of those uh, beer deers. You ever seen those advertised? It's like the beer carton, but they're they're they layer out and make deers like that. That's oh, right. okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is from Clyde CNC. He's made a, a sleigh, and you guys help me if. He inlaid, he inlaid some three and three or three D printed parts too. Okay, yeah, I want to say the SC was three D yeah, printed yeah. and yeah. inlaid in there. Okay, and this is pretty good size too, I guess, because I don't know how big those presents are, but it looks like this thing's sitting under a Christmas tree. Yeah, so it is pretty good size. I think you can get better scale from watching the video. I like that piece. Okay, this is from Mr. Schuster. 
our old buddy Rob slash Sidewinder Drums is his YouTube channel name these days. And again, I only put one picture. And I picked this one because the other picture that he sent me has it full of cookies. Yeah, that's what I like. You Not that I don't like this one, but I like the other one. The other one has those good cookies. Yeah, it, uh, it this makes, is great. makes an excellent cookie tray. But this was uh, some cute gnomes he put on there, and I believe all of that is resin inlay. Yep. Wow. Good job. Hey, give me about that. 10 minutes. I'll make that other picture look like this picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I got hungry looking at that. Uh, I was like good. Another picture. So that one's that was a good one. I like I, I like how he did every bulb, every color. Mm -hmm. like yeah. That's good detail. Yes. That is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful job. This is from Jim Senecola. His YouTube channel is Jim Senecola Totally Wood Workshop. And this was really interesting. Um it's, I mean, it's obviously a Santa Claus mug, but he has this top. And again, I'm pointing like you can see what I'm pointing at. Right. You can't. But the, the top of it where those presents are, it twists off. And then you could put your favorite beverage or something in there. Eggnog. Uh, eggnog. Eggnog, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That would work. Santa Weiser. Yes. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of work doing all the painting on that thing. Yep. Yeah, I, and I, I, I wished he had shown some of that so I could see uh, how that was how that was done. But really good job. And he had like three or four of them, I think, in the video. It wasn't yeah. just this one. He's yeah. had several of these. So very nice. Can't just drink one eggnog. <laughs> Depends upon the rum. <laughs> okay, right. this is from Dave Clemens. This is his first entry. And I'm not sure about the wood. It looks like, looks like some bamboo. I was going to say it might be yeah. one of those bamboo cutting boards. Yep. And I don't know for sure. That's some kind of a diode laser, looks like he used to engrave that. So. Yeah. Good job on that. This is from Leo Steger. And again, Leo, my picture is crummy because you didn't send me one. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I tried to try to get a screenshot from uh, watching a video. And that's why I started asking people to send me photos. It's really tough to, to get a decent screenshot from a, from a video. So anyway this is and in the video uh leo shows how he's making the tractor and then there's this other uh trailer i don't know where that's like bales of hay or something maybe in it but uh he makes these uh toys for underprivileged kids i believe is um what he does so it's that you that know awesome. he did a video for the the mm -hmm. christmas challenge but i think leo does this all the time so big Big props to uh, Leo for, um, you know, doing that kind of thing. Yeah, I think he said in the video that there's like nine of the nine people that, and they make like 250 of them. Of them, am I right, Matt? I don't know if anybody. I, I think so. Yeah, I I think he's he and some other people have been doing this for yeah for quite a while. So that's really cool. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see. Where are we at here? Slide 50. Man, we still got a bunch to go. This is from Ronald Cool. And I don't know. What do you say, fellas? Does that look like some oak, maybe? Mm. The wood? Yeah. If I had to guess, that's what I would guess. Yeah. Some, some, and I get it backwards. Some white oak? Is, is it white yeah, oak? Yeah, that's, yeah. I, I don't think it's red oak. I think yeah, opposite. Yeah. Looks more like white oak, but I believe this was another one of those V carve and resin bills. Ronald, yeah. Ronald says uh, it's red oak. Red oak. Red oak. It? Okay, it? it didn't look like it from to me. But the edges look like white oak, but the inside yeah. is hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll take your word for it. 
<laughs> he did get spoke uh, though. Okay, let's see here. That turned out really good. I really all these epoxy ones it really makes me want to mess around with epoxy. Yeah, Ronald confirms that it's uh, epoxy. My wife yeah. really wants this one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see. The next one is Dave Clemens' second entry. And we've got a Christmas ornament that is 3D printed on some kind of a 3D printer there. I can't get the... I think it's an Ender 5. Is it? I can't. I can't tell. Looks like we're missing the logo just... By a little yeah. bit. Looks like it's down here at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, Ender doesn't have that motor up on top, though. Because I'm looking at, well, maybe it is a five. I don't know. I'm looking at a three. I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe it is. Ender five. Hey, Dave says, yeah, Ender it's an Ender five. five. Ender, Ender five. five. Cool. Okay. Cool. Look at that. Three points for Ryan. Man. Oh, hundred. Right. All right, let's uh, see here. This is from Dwayne Aldrich. YouTube channel is Dwayne Aldrich, Aldrich Custom Crafts. And again, I just put one picture, but this is a music box, if as I recall. Mm -hmm. I see Hamilton shaking his head, so yep. music box with a little device inside, uh, hidden, I believe, down the underneath bottom. the shelf and it was and also a the, gift box and then the top that's all inlaid i believe right no it's laser it's laser. Di okay. Di laser yeah okay see that's why i wanted you guys on here to keep me straight because it's been so long since i've watched these i can't can't remember yeah i just rewatched them an hour ago oh okay <laughs> all right that's why it's fresh <laughs> I, really, I really like this one i i really do for some reason it just it caught me yeah yeah okay it's very functional year round yes yeah yeah all right here is the second entry from kenneth and this one i thought <laughs> i thought this one was kind of cute yeah. it's basically a uh, finger joint box if you will but it's more like a little sign. It says, Santa, please stop here. I've been mostly nice. And then if you look close, and again, I only put one picture on here, but if you, if I had shown the second picture, when he, the part that says mostly nice will flip over. And I believe on the other side, it says, wait a minute, I can explain or so, something to that, <laughs> that yeah. Effect, yeah. which I thought was, uh, was pretty cool uh, to come up with something like that. So, Good job on that one, Kenna. Now we've got John Fisher here. And if I remember correctly, this was all laser cut acrylic, I believe. And it's yeah. even colored acrylic, I think. So uh, it's, it's kind of a shame that the picture I picked here is um, taken with a blue background because it kind of you can't you can't it's hard to read Christmas, but that's what it says. Christmas is all about Jesus, and uh, if that blue background wasn't behind it, you would be able to see the word Christmas a lot. Uh, okay, I kind of said naughty, but I can explain as well. Yes. <laughs> so. Um, but yeah, I, I like that one. That was, uh, you know, a good, good one. And it's, you know, all about the true meaning of Christmas too. So I like that part too. Yeah, John's jumping in here. Says quarter inch in the back. The rest is one eighth inch acrylic. Okay. Good job. And we've got from Harry Raglan. This is, I guess this is a 3D printed snowflake. Yep. 
Yeah, you time. said something about a, a, it's a fractal, um, and I've heard that before, but I couldn't remember what it was. But it's yeah, like that's repeating where all the all the pieces are the same and they fit together. Oh, is that what that means? I think so. Thank you, Paul. I'm glad you're smarter than the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go with that anyway. <laughs> since you, Sounds since you good. It. All righty. This was an interesting one. This is uh, from Paul Camp. His YouTube channel is Paul Camp P and G Custom Old Works. And you'd really have to watch the video to to get all of this. But this is a uh, what do they call it a mandala, I guess. Where yeah, it's like layered, a layered, yeah. yeah, layered, layered little gnome here. Is it like five or, or, get, or is it a gnome or a Santa Claus? One of the one of the two. Christmas gnome. Okay, Christmas gnome. But yeah, <laughs> it's uh, and I forget how many layers he said it was, but again, I think he he tells in the video. But that was a that was a good one. Yeah, I like the way the hat turned out. The hat was pretty cool looking. Okay. This is from Troy Pritchard. And I think Troy had a tough time with this one because, um, and again, I'm only showing one side of this because this is the Merry Christmas side. And Troy, tell us what it says on the other side. I don't know if, if I remember. But anyway, he was trying to make the whole ornament with this and I, I think he had some trouble with some wood splitting and stuff like that but uh still doesn't look too bad it uh, wow, looks nope. pretty good turned out pretty good still a good effort yeah i think he said it was like an old bedboard that was 30 years old or something yeah and there was yeah. there wasn't enough sap left in the wood to keep the wood together <laughs> yeah i think I, I was figuring that uh troy was just having a my kind of uh um, Christmas challenge where everything goes. Yeah, wrong. yeah. Well, it did make me think of you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> when I saw uh, saw him have trouble with his wood there. All right, and finally, I don't know who this guy is. Uh, some <laughs> jackass. Hey, oh, I, mean, oh. uh, I thought oh. this was a, a cute design, though. It's got the Grinch because I've been seeing them all over Facebook. You see that Grinch hand. Mm -hmm. And it's got an ornament attached to it. We'll see Brian or Ryan did it. Uh, what about 10 times better by putting the name. a bunch of ornaments. And it says the Ballards. So, no. Yeah. How many better. of those little bottles did that take? Bottles of what? <laughs> oh, from the plane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. From the yeah. plane. <laughs> So I actually like I, I used the picture as a reference, but I actually drew that sucker right there. I actually drew the whole thing. But it's uh yeah, that looks yeah I, I, that was a fun video to make. It didn't I I may put out a remix of that video because I wanted to sing the Grinch song <laughs> and have that be the back like the only thing that you hear is me very poorly singing the Grinch song. But I ran out of time, and I was in Florida, and I was just like, all right, I just got to put something in here to get this done. Yeah, but, uh, it would have been funny. You can oh, still get demonetized by just singing the Grinch song. Just throwing it out there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Especially if I sing. <laughs> yeah. I'm not monetized anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> all right. So we've uh, we've had a look at them. Before I go any farther and, and make any other announcements, I want to – We'll take a little break here, and I want to talk about something else real quick. You know, this is this is the end of another challenge. This is, a, you know, this is it. After tonight, the 2022 Gatton CNC Christmas Challenge is history. But I have another challenge for you folks, and I think I'm picking the perfect time because we got a, well over 100 people in here. I want to challenge everybody that's watching the show tonight to think about participating in something that's really cool. And I want to give a shout out to Matt Haas. Uh, I am going to participate. I have said I was going to do it one other time, and then something come up and I had to withdraw. But I am going to participate this year in the Maker's Rock. I don't know yes. if you know what the Maker's Rock is. Huh. 
Make but, uh, it's a, well, I'm just going to let Matt talk about it. I, I contacted Matt today and I said, Hey, I know I've just downloaded the, the assets and stuff. It's got the logo and all that stuff. I says, if by chance you have a, like a promo video to just, you know, cause I want to try to talk about the makers, uh, makers rock during these live streams that I do. And he says, I'll have something for you in about an hour. And by golly, he did. So let me just play this real quick. It's, it's short. It's just a little short promo video. And thank you so much, Matt, for uh, sending me this. But let me, let me let him tell you about Makers Rock. Makers Rock. That is the largest collaboration on YouTube. And if you have a YouTube channel and make stuff with your hands, this is the collab for you. We make album art, like the vinyl record album art. We use any material, using any technique, create a video of us making it, publish it on the same day, and every participant will cross-promote all of the other participants. Collabs are the best way to grow your channel because other people's audiences will see your stuff and vice versa. There's another twist. It's also a giveaway. And it, it's different because we give away the stuff that we create. You give away the artwork to someone in your audience. Giveaways are huge for promoting and growing your channel. Come along for the ride. There's a secret Facebook group where all the participants share behind the scenes. Makersrock.com is where you start. Join us. It'll be awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Matt, for uh, throwing that together. And he has a um, a little bit longer video that probably goes into more detail about the Makers Rock thing on his YouTube channel. And if you're not subscribed to Matt Haas, awesome wood things and all things YouTube and I, all 14 channels or whatever it is he has. Shame on you. You should be subscribed to all of them, but yeah, he's, he's been hosting that uh, makers rock thing. I think since 2016, really the same year that we started the CNC Christmas challenge, but cool. uh I am going to do it this year. In fact, I've already got my uh, my album cover picked out. Uh, if I say who it is, probably most of you young guys won't. I go, who's that? You're right. But it's, uh, I'm going to do the album "Smoking" by Humble Pie. Oh, Ooh. it was released in March 1972, so probably way before some of you guys <laughs> were even born. But uh, anyway, I keep looking at <laughs> Hamilton because I know he probably wasn't around then. But, uh, but yeah, uh, that might be something you might want to do, Hamilton. You might want to check out that. And, and it's a, it's a big collab. Everybody does their album cover. They, they do a promo video for it. And then they all release the videos of how they're made all on the same day. And you got plenty of time. It's not till, uh, well, April 28th, Friday, April 28th is when the, the release video, you know, it gets, gets all done at once. So anyway, that is my challenge to everybody that's watching this and it's here on the show or whatever. Think about joining in with the, uh, makers rock collaboration. And, uh, we will try to make this the, the biggest one yet. I, I like I said, I, I hated it cause I had a good album picked out the last time. And, uh, then something came up, I got busy or something, and I knew I wasn't going to make the deadline, so I just went ahead and withdrew. But I am on it like, <laughs> you know, you know the saying. But, uh, <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yep. like, don't, don't I, give him ideas, Cody. Don't I can't, though. That's the prop. Yeah. See, I can't. I'm allergic to beef, so I can't make it out of meatloaf. Oh, <sighs> all right let's get back to uh back to business here uh, yeah y'all so, think about that that maker's rock thing that is going to be so cool so all so right you're, so you just make a you make a recreation of of an album cover right you're not yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. here's exactly. what i would suggest same thing i suggest to people for the christmas challenge if you want to see what, how people are doing it, get a little inspiration. Yeah. 
There Ooh, are that's... tons of playlists because, yep. like I said, I think he's been doing it 2016, 17, yeah. 18, 19, 20. I think there was a 21 last year. I think they did. It's I don't a lot think of they missed I've done year, twice. But, uh, cool. okay, yeah. He says, yes, there are playlists yep. for every year on the website, the About mm -hmm. page. So nice. go check it out. It'd be a lot of fun. The more folks we can get in doing it, the more fun it's going to be. And uh, I can't, I, I can't wait. I'm, I'm really excited about mine. I've already even started pilling around with it because uh, <laughs> I can't wait to do. It. In fact, I think I'm going to, I'm going to go out on a limb here, but I think I'm actually going to make the same album thing. But I've got three different ideas, so I think I'm going to use three different techniques to make it. And, cool. and then I'll just give all three of them away. I think that's what I'm, what I'm going to do. But uh, yeah. All right. Let's get back to the challenge thing. We've shown all the projects. Yep. And now what I want to do is I want to go through and explain how we're going to do this. Because as you know, we, we mentioned the sponsors at the top of the show. We have five really good prizes. So, when I ask for some uh, help in judging, uh, Hamilton was quick to uh, offer up his services. I don't know if he knew for sure what he was getting into, but uh, <laughs> he, <laughs> he, I didn't. I didn't let him get away. Once he sent that email, I'm like, I got you now, buddy. I, I, I was <laughs> hanging out with my wife, and she was like, "What are we watching?" And I was like, "The first of 22 videos," and she was like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She loved it. She loved it. But uh, so I got Hamilton, Paul, uh, Al Forte. That's why he's here tonight. He he helped judge. And then Sean helped judge. Yep. So And then myself. So we have five different people. And here's how we did it. I, since we have five prizes, I asked each judge to give me, watch all the videos, and then give me a list of their top five favorite videos number you know and what what we do we're doing it kind of like on a point system so if somebody was my favorite video my number one video that person got five points if they were my second favorite video they got four points third three four two uh, five one so it just goes down like that. So, and then by having five different judges and taking each person's list and then totaling up the points, you can come up with a big mix of folks that all get some points. But so that is how that part of it's going to work. And now, since we've got five. Um, five really good prizes. I mean, let's face it, the, the yeah. lowest I'm thing's a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. So pretty good, pretty dang good prize for doing a challenge. I'd say pretty awesome prizes, to be honest. But so what we're going to do is we're going to take the people that have the top five totals, and I'm going to announce those in just a minute here, not in any kind of order, just kind of alphabetically. Uh, and then I'm, my hope is that everybody that's in this top five is watching here live tonight because it's hard. It would be hard for any of us to say, all right, well, first prize should be this one. Well, how do you, how do you know what the person that gets the most points, how do you know what they want? They may not even want that. So I want the people that, win and get in the top five i want them to be able to pick what they want and i feel like the person that has the most points should get to pick first so hopefully everybody that has entered you know, or the ones that are in the top five are watching tonight and so when we get through and we will take the the top person and they will pick their prize and then that prize will drop off the list and then the next one will get their prize and so on and so forth that way hopefully people get what they want instead of 
what I think they want. Because I, I, I don't care who gets what. It doesn't make any difference to me. But all right, so are we clear on the way the rules are going to work there? I will tell you what, it was not easy picking five. It was not. Right. That was a, yeah. Well, that's exactly why I asked four other people to No, it wasn't. Because I did not want to have to do it myself. Uh, There's a lot of good entries. A lot of good entries. All right. So here we go. This is the first drama moment here. I'm going to, I'm going to name who ended up as our top five finalists. And again, these are not in any particular order. They are just in alphabetical order by first name. So don't get excited. If I call your name first, that doesn't mean you're the first place. You're just the first initial person that I'm calling. All right. So here we go. The first person in our top five is Dennis Nolan, Ozark, uh, Ozark yes. Arts and Crafts. So he will be in our, one of our top five finals. The second person is, and I had to put a, one, a one, number one beside his name because he put in three projects. That's Earl Walker, and we're talking about his first project, which was the reindeer jumping over the or over reindeer the jump, yep. jumping over the with, um, little the village, village there with the trees oh, in the background well yeah with the trees in the background so he is one of our top five finalists the awesome. third person that's a top five finalist is kenneth joaquin and that is for project number one which is the deer head uh, was mounted on the wall with the little cute ornaments and stuff on it. Uh, our fourth finalist is Matt Haas from Awesome Wood Things for the Grinch, awesome. Awesome. the Grinch Advent Calendar. And then our fifth and final finalist for tonight. And again, it was hard to narrow it down to five. But our fifth one is Rob Schuster slash Sidewinder Drums. And he had the, I guess we'll call it a cookie tray since he sent the picture with it full of cookies. But the resin inlay gnome project. Nice. So, Was he the one that said he was going to send us cookies? Is that? Well, he's he has sent right. me cookies before. He's a little slacking this year. Just saying. Just saying, Rob. I think I think maybe Rob's out there. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so I'm going to pull this back up because I want the five people that I just named. I want you to be looking at this this list because when I announce who our top vote getter is in just a few minutes, uh, hopefully that person is out there in the in the audience and can relatively quick quickly select which prize they want out of those five so look them over and i will yeah i think those five were the are definitely the top ones they were good okay all right, so now I'm going to start off with the number one vote getter amongst the five judges. So they will have the first pick of the prizes. And that person is Matt Haas. Awesome Ta-da! Good things. So Congratulations. Matt, Matt is, uh, he was Very good. out there. I think he's out there. Matt, if you would... I mean, we can we can get this totally all wrapped up tonight if everybody's here. <laughs> Congrats, Matt. If not, we'll have to. You know, if I if there's somebody not here, I'm going to have to email them or text them and find out what which what they want the, out of what's left and all that kind of stuff, and then wait on it so we can get all this done tonight if everybody's out there. So, Matt, if you would just let me know. Uh, there he is, right those, there. 
Okay. Okay. The quantum. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he was quantum, quantum CNC yeah. kit. Okay. Matt yeah. is selecting um, the quantum CNC kit. All right. There we go. So we will, uh, I don't have a way to mark that off, but we're just going to pretend you can't see that anymore. It's not on the <laughs> list no more. I want to see a build video of that. <laughs> yes. Hey, yes, you well, know Matt will do a video. You probably will get one, yes. You probably get a, a few out of that. Yes. Okay. Now, Bob, the, the quantum CNC kit's gone. The yep. person with the second highest vote total Rob Schuster, Sidewinder nice. Jones. Nice, yeah. Rob. Nice. Congrats. Matt says, I'm blown away. Thank you. Bill, video cometh, he said. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm going to warn you, Matt. I put together one of his revolution machines. I don't know if Bob's out in the chat or not. I haven't seen no, it. I haven't seen it. No. But, man, there's a lot of pieces. <laughs> and I'll bet you the quantum has... A lot more than more. what the revolution does. Get so, yourself yeah. a magnetic uh, like pen. Yeah, definitely get you a magnet. You'll definitely yeah, you, need one of those. It definitely okay. helps. Oh, there's okay. Rob. Okay. Yeah. Rob yeah. says he will do the $200 gift card. So big shout out to Paul Hammerquist, a.k.a. The Hammer, for uh, offering up that $200 Amazon Sweet. gift card. Sweet. Awesome. Very cool. Okay, so the uh, quantum CNC kit and the two hundred dollar gift card are now gone, even though they're still on the list. <laughs> Just pretend they're not there. Uh, Just put a finger. Let's see here. Other way. Yep. Our third vote getter here is Dennis Nolan, Ozark Arts and Crafts. He had the uh, the other advent calendar with uh, that's the one. Two hundred and forty windows. Thank yes. you, Al. I knew yeah. you would remember that. Yes. <laughs> no, Two hundred and forty-one no windows. So, if uh, has anybody seen Dennis? Is he out there? Uh, I don't remember seeing I Dennis. Seen him. Has mm. anybody else seen Dennis? <laughs> the, the sound effect screech just comes to mind right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just gonna put a uh, a big halt on the uh, halt on everything. <laughs> Wonder if I, there's any way I can reach him with. Um... Tell him that he won the quantum CNC. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a response real quick. <laughs> Let's see. I don't even know if I'm friends with him on Facebook or not. I may not have a way to get in touch with him. Well, I can try shooting an email. We can we can talk about something else uh, while we're waiting for a response. I don't remember seeing him out there, though, now that I think about it. Hey. Richard says he probably needs new bits with all those windows. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I can uh, send an email here and get a quick response. Maybe we can. Uh, I've got a question for Rob in the chat. Have you considered with your... Um with your epoxy inlay for your cookie tray, have you considered doing something like that for your drums? Like doing like like an epoxy inlay all around it? I know how annoying that would be. I, I, I know how annoying that would be, but have you considered it? That's a metal out of fire. Rob's probably gone. He took the money and ran. Yep. <laughs> By the way, Wade, it was on autopilot. Just yeah. 
Yeah, but he's not in the Enterprise. He's in the Millennium Falcon. Talk about a mishmash. <laughs> well, well, yeah, yeah. Details, anyway. details, right? <laughs> <laughs> Would you call that a quantum jump or quantum leap? There's your answer, Hamilton. What did they do in Spaceballs? Because they probably were more like Spaceballs. <laughs> Ludicrous speed. Ludicrous speed is what we've gone doing. plaid. You could thicken it with like brass dust. Like you can buy brass dust and you can thicken it like, like really, really thick. And then after you come back, like wouldn't it just look like in a brass like epoxy inlay? But it would just look like a brass inlay at that point, right? Just just spitballing. I like telling other people to do projects that I want to do so that I don't have to do them. <laughs> Learn from other people's mistakes. Uh -huh. Be like, wow, that was a lot of work. I will never do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Maybe. Let's see if I put urgent in the, <laughs> the subject. Should set up a little timer. Okay, so we sent that. We'll uh, kill some time and see if we hear back from him. I'm trying to think if I if I don't think he's. Let me let, let me search him on Facebook because Facebook Messenger usually pops up. Let's see if this is him. Yeah. Let's see here. Did and you already look see. at this one? I think he goes by Denny Nolan, too. I think. Coral way around. That's pretty cool. That's interesting. It's it's Pinewood Derby time. Yeah. Caught my eye. <laughs> Okay, here, here we go. Here we go. Now maybe I can message him here. Yeah, somebody fill some air time. I see Rob just came back with, uh, yes, yeah, silica, not silicon. So, yeah, it's silica for thickening. Like sand? Silica thickening. Thickener. Silica thickener. Thickener. Yeah. thickener. Cool. So, right. so I was down in uh, Disney for the holidays, and uh, I tell you what, there's not, that place makes you think of stuff. Yeah. To make. Holy cow. Yeah, I was just taking pictures of all kinds of stuff. Like, oh yeah, I can make that. I can make that. There's one thing that I may not make though. It's a Rancor uh, uh, beer flight because I already bought one of those. Evidently, <laughs> is that the one with the teeth? <laughs> yeah, those look cool. Yeah, it's very cool. I don't know if it was worth the amount of money that I ended up spending on it though. <laughs> Blame it on the beer. No, it was before the beer. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know how much it was when we ordered it. <laughs> I, I did a uh, little YouTube short on it. So if you uh, um, want to want to see how they um, how the one bar in Star Wars Land uh, uh, makes a big thing of when you order this stupid thing, um, you yeah, know, go watch it. Okay. Hey Ryan, I've been, I've been meaning to ask you since you put up all those Christmas lights, is part of the deal taking them back down? Yep. Yep. We we've started that. Uh, I'm I'm behind because my wife. Uh, um, we found out yesterday evening that she has COVID, so oh, Ooh. she hasn't been feeling well since we got back, and so I've been uh, 
um, doing all the family duties and stuff by myself. So been behind trying to get that stuff done to be able to start uh, taking stuff down. I, I, I was able to get away and do a couple of them today. Can't you just tie like a nylon cord to one end of the lights and then tie it to the bumper and go for it? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much how it goes. I mean, you, you do it most of it all from the ground anyway. So, um, Isn't that how family Christmas always turns out? Yeah, yeah everybody's sick. Yeah. Yeah, while we're, we're, while, while we were away, her brother <laughs> that went with us, um, it, was, it was me, my wife, and my son. And then uh, my wife's brother and his wife and son. And uh, um, my brother-in-law was, he was not feeling well for more than half of the trip. And so we're assuming that <laughs> while we were gone, he had COVID. God. And, uh, and, and of course, gave it to my wife. So, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm getting a headache just thinking about it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Hey, okay. hey we can uh, we can do this while we're waiting. I'm gonna. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait uh, just a few minutes, and like I said, I still want the person, you know, by order of how many points they get or votes they get from the judges, to be able to select from what's left what they want. So if we do not hear from Dennis. I'll go on ahead and announce who the other two are, but you won't know what you're getting until Dennis has made his pick. I guess that's uh, you guys. Let me know what you think. I, I mean, I hate to to you, not go ahead and announce who the other the other yeah, two that's are. Probably the way to do it, Dave. You've done that before. You've emailed. I think me. that sounds I mean, fair. I, I won once, but you emailed whatever number it was and then you went back you know pick on the list and then the list got smaller and stuff yeah that i guess i didn't make the show either so i was one of those that wasn't on the show when you announced the winners <laughs> well wade's saying pick one for him if he doesn't show up and if you that's not yes. really it's fair a, because a fair way to go. you know what we've got left is the a hundred dollar gift card the uh three pack of genie bits and then the laser that I was going to give away, and the laser's got a retail value of six fifty nine or something like that, even on yeah, sales see. like six. So, you know, how do I know what he wants? You know, right. he he gets he gets to pick. He was, you know, by the way of the judges, he was the third highest vote getter. So he will get to pick from them three, and then we'll work it work it on down. You know, you could make up a new rule if you're not present. You know, you give it to the panel. I mean, well, well, we had such good prizes this year. I didn't think people would put in an entry and then not watch and be here. But life happens too. I mean, yeah, that's true. I honestly don't remember why I, why I didn't see the show. You know, where you were picking. But yeah. So, uh, so there was some talk with Rob and doing uh, um, epoxy inlays on on his drums and stuff. So. Rob sent me a, a picture here of one of the epoxy inlays he's done on a drum. Hold on here. Let ah, me. Nice. Cool. Let me. Uh, there we go. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Sweet. That Sweet. is awesome. How does he cut that out since it's curved? Uh, it's his. Uh, it's the way that he's done his uh, um, his CNC. It'll it it does all of it. it so so he, has a, he he cuts the inside and the outside with his uh, modified Gatton, highly highly modified yeah. Gatton. He built specifically for for his drums. Doing doing drums, yeah. I think he's about and, version uh, three. I think so. And he has a fourth axis, or to turn the drum. Oh. No, it's a it's its own separate CNC for turning the drum. He has really? some wonderful videos. That's on what his it channel. does. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check it out. That's really cool. That is really yeah. really cool, man. I'm impressed totally, totally. One of his drums just got sold at auction for fifty thousand dollars. Good God. Okay, let's let's give away this uh, wow. Chini bit while we're waiting here. I see some yeah. suggestions in the. Uh, in the chat here saying just ask the winners 
to rank their picks. Actually, I mean, you think about it, Dennis is the top n number three, and there's three gifts or, yeah, three prizes <laughs> left. I know so, what I think. <laughs> you know, it's only the next person who's fourth really needs to pick because the fifth person ends up with whatever's left. Right. So we can, uh, we can, we can do that, but let's give away a genie bit. We are on, we got 94 inches, 120 people watching right now. Nice. If you want really? in, get in fast. Hashtag groovy is the uh, hashtag to put in to win a genie bit. And let me show it one more time. This one right here, the 60 degree down here. V bit is the one we're giving away tonight. That's pretty. Pretty. So. All right. We're at 95. Looks like it's pretty stable there. 96. Good luck, everybody. And here we go. Sweet. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where it stops, Where's nobody it? knows. Except for the person that's going to delay on. Yep. Oh, there. Jim Bashir. Jim Bashir. Woo right hey, Jim Bashir. Nice. Hot diggity. <laughs> We are congratulations. I saw Jim when, when it was counting, and I was gonna say, There's Jim. Oops, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, Jim. All right, so all right, so we've got that out of the way. Let me check email real quick here. I don't think uh don't think we're gonna hear from him, and I have not got a reply back here. Hey Dave. So so yes. It, 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 see, it would seem more fair to me, because you let the first two pick the ones they want, that the last two, or you know the, the third and the fourth, also do that same mechanism, since, since that's how you've already started. Yep. I, I think that's the way to do it. Yeah. Well, that, that's... I, mean, I, I don't know... I, I, hadn't, I hadn't changed. I'm saying we'll, yeah. we'll, we can say who yes. number yes, four definitely. and number five definitely. are. But they they won't know what they're getting until exactly. number three picks. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. And I was just adding in there that it seems that it would be fair because you you pick the first two to to do it in that in that way. Yeah, that seems the best way. Yeah. Right. I mean, I just you know I don't know any other way to do it. I, like I said, I didn't want to try to pick four right. people and say, okay, well this is the prize for the first place and second place and all that stuff. Just let people pick what they want and you know unfortunately if you're number five you well kinda, you kind of get what's left but still what you get what's left, that's yeah. still going to be a decent prize so yeah exactly all right so don't look like we're going to hear from dennis but i will probably be in contact with him uh hmm. tomorrow sometime if i don't hear from him yet tonight and to be continued what I do with my Nah. I'm trying to see where am I? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So we're going to move on. So these next two people, the next one is the fourth place, and that will be the the fourth and final pick because, like I said, the fifth place person gets whatever's left JR's at the end again. of the at the end of the oh. thing. Yeah. Absolutely. And thank you for the super chat, JR. Appreciate you, buddy. You are way too awesome. Way hey, too do awesome. you know that Cody's giving away a bit every week this year? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he has. Yes. Well, that's a true statement for sure. <laughs> for sure. Now, Cody's like... Uh, <laughs> I mean, you take all the ones this year and add them to whatever he had last year, and he's he's into the it's a ridiculous amount. Yeah, he's giving away a lot of bits. All right, let's uh, let's move on here and see. Let me check the chat. And see, I think these other two people are in here. I'm pretty sure. All right, so this next person that ended up with fourth place in the number of votes they got is Kenneth Joaquin for the first entry 
the uh, deer head thing with the mm. ornaments and all painted on them. Yeah. So I love that. Was that was so piece. cool. Yeah. That was awesome. So, Kenneth, just as soon as I hear from uh, Dennis Nolan, I'll let you know what he picks, and then there will be two things left, and then you can pick, and then whatever whatever is left after that. We'll go to sure. our fifth person in the top five, which is, are you ready? Earl Walker. Earl Walker, number one, the... Santa and reindeer jumping over the village thing with the trees in the background and all that, that stuff. Awesome. So that was our top five for the night. Yeah, a village with trees in the background. Yep. Multi-layered effect, making the whole place fly in the air. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I've had pieces fly through the air, but right. that's more of a, yeah. Yeah, me too, <laughs> man. And sometimes it's my own <laughs> request. <laughs> Into the burn pile. Yep. Yeah, I'm telling you, though, if you've never cut PVC before, do it. It's, it's awesome. It. Don't use a down cut bit. You got to mm. use some kind of a either straight or an upcut on it, uh, but it, it it cuts like butter. It's That's so really nice to do. Now, really did you nice. use did you use a single flute or? Um, yeah, or I think standard. that's yeah, it was just whatever. It, it, it doesn't really, it's not picky. Okay. I mean, it it just cuts really nice. Just don't use a down cut because it'll it tends to melt itself like it would acrylic. Okay, uh, let me wrap wrap the rest of this stuff up, guys. Uh, where did I see it? Kenneth says, where did I see it? I just saw it. Um, anyway, oh, here it is. He says, sounds good. So Kenneth will get to pick from whatever's left after Dennis Nolan picks. And just to clarify, the quantum CNC is gone. The $200 Amazon gift card is gone. So the three choices Dennis has is either the $100 Amazon gift card, the three pack of Genie Bits, or the Enjoywood 10 watt laser. And then once he picks, then Kenneth will go, and then whatever's left will go to Earl Walker. And I wanted to, because I saw something he posted up here, and I wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page here. I swear I can't if I've lost the comment. And JR says that for the three package any bits, it's pick whatever the three that you wanted. And uh, good old Cody and uh, JR will work out the details. Congratulations, whoever takes them. Very good. Okay. Cool. I'm not Thanks. I'm not finding a comment that I was looking for. But uh, Earl was saying where the heck did you go? Oh, here it is. He says, my first pick is the laser. You got to understand, Earl, you are the fifth person, so you will end up with whatever the other two do not pick. So just want to make sure we're all on the same page on how that works. It may be that. It may be something else. Right now, the three things that are left, $100 gift card, the three packaging bits, and the diode laser. So whatever... Dennis and Kenneth don't pick. That's what you will receive. So, all righty. Let's see what else we got to talk about. I see some. Uh, yeah, right, Kenneth. It's uh, you couldn't go wrong, really. Yeah. And and again, that's why I wanted people to be able to pick based on their what place they finish, what they want, because they may not want the most expensive thing. Uh, so. Yeah, everybody did so good, though. I mean, those, mm -hmm. the projects were really good. Yeah. 
and Harry everybody says, that wants something really ask number five right. what they would least like to get and then give them that no nah, that, <laughs> that, <doesn't make> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense all right we've all right we've got that uh, squared away i think yeah if everybody's or if anybody's not good with that send your complaints to hamilton dalebick at <laughs> Everyone already does. I just uh, <laughs> leave them immediately. <laughs> All right. Uh, John was asking, he says, do you have a link for that album cover thing? And I think maybe somebody. Yeah, it's, it's makersrock.com. Yeah. Makers. M -A -S -K -E -R. And again, if, if you go to Matt Haas, uh, Awesome Wood Things YouTube channel. He just put out a video just, I don't know, within the week, I think. Uh, that's kind of that same promo thing I showed, but it's longer. When I asked him to put something together tonight, I said, you know, keep it 20 seconds or 60 seconds or something. But he's got one, I think, that's probably two or three minutes uh, on his YouTube channel, which goes into a little bit more detail. And then you can also... Uh, once you send him the thing, you know, if you're interested in participating in that and send him the thing, he'll hook y'all up with the stuff you need to know. I'll put you in that Facebook group. Um, and you'll, you can fill out the form. You pick, you know, sign up to do what. Now, if you have a certain album you want to do, uh, if I remember right, I think, is he still out there? Uh Matt. Yeah, yeah, he's out there. I because I, I think you're not supposed to do duplicates, I believe. So, in other words, if you've got an album you'd really like to do, sign up and post it first because that's what it is. There's a list where people can look and go, Oh, somebody's already doing that. And that's why I jumped on it. And of course, I'm so old, probably nobody, <laughs> you know, like I said, most people weren't even born and. 72 but uh by the way if you if you don't know who i'm talking about it's humble pie it's after peter frampton left and of course you probably don't know who peter frampton is either. <laughs> but uh go good. check it out and listen Baby to, I'm alive. <laughs> go, go search it on youtube go humble pie and put 30 days in the hole and then crank it up and you can thank me later. 30 days in the oh, sorry, I can't see. Al that. knows what it is. Yep. It's now in the queue. <laughs> <laughs> I can't crank it up. I've got a sleeping baby like 12 feet okay. away. Okay, we'll put some headphones <laughs> on. That'd be even better. And uh yeah. Anyway, I guess we can uh we don't have any reason to hang around now, do we? Uh, let's see. He says there's also, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Makersrock.com. Yeah. Well, I hope, uh, I, I apologize for. Uh, there's Matt YouTube. You know, awesome. not being able to get a hold of Dennis. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll wait on him before we uh, do the other things. And then I'll. I'll post something on social media or whatever. Let her, let everybody know what everybody got, or you'll find out next week when, if you come back and watch. But nice. But anyway, congrats to yes. Matt Haas for winning the Quantum CNC. That's yep. pretty awesome. Yep. I will. Uh, I think I've got all your contact info, Matt. I'm pretty sure I do. I will forward that to Bob Wood. And uh, like I said, I don't know for sure what size. I think there's three different sizes, so I don't know what what size it will be. But he will uh, he will let you know all of that. And also, congratulations to Rob Schuster on the two hundred dollar Amazon card from Paul Hammerquist. That's pretty cool. So again, thanks to all of the folks that uh, offered up some awesome prizes for uh this challenge it was uh 
a good challenge. We had 22 things. That's, I think the previous best was like 19, 18 or 19, I think. So yeah. good deal there. And thanks to all of the participants that got out there in their shop and, and made a little something. And hopefully you'll come back and uh, be ready to do this again next year or make an album cover for the two. So, or both. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Who else do I need to thank? Uh, thank you guys for uh, helping me out, Hamilton. Thank you for judging. Al, thank you for uh, watching 22 videos. Paul, thank you. It was a pleasure. And Sean, I know you had a tough time. <laughs> As, oh, as I did, so thank you for uh, for doing that. That was worth it. Actually, I watched closer to eighty-eight videos. <laughs> I watched them many four times. times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. All right, you got a point there, Paul. Yeah. All right. Well, I see him dropping like flies here, so let's go ahead and get out of here, and we'll hang around back uh, backstage here and. Shoot the breeze a little bit if y'all want. And I uh, guess we'll see y'all next week. Yeah, I don't have any idea what the topic is, but we'll think of something. <laughs> something yeah, maybe pleasure. we'll have Matt Haas on. He can talk about his new quantum CNC. <laughs> 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 oh. All righty. Anyway, we're out of here, guys. Everybody have a great weekend. And we'll see y'all later. Good night, y'all. Peace.